And President William Ruto is now expected to gazette the removal from office of former High Court Judge Said Juma Chitembwe in accordance with Article 168 of the Constitution. The removal stems from a ruling by the Supreme Court dismissing Chitembwe's petition in which he challenged a February 2023 recommendation by a tribunal probing his conduct which called for his removal for gross misconduct. Embattled High Court Judge Said Juma Chitembwe has faced blow after blow. The judge's several petitions seeking his removal as a judge over allegations of impropriety and gross misconduct. Former President Uhuru Kenyatta in May last year formed a tribunal to investigate him following recommendations by the Judicial Service Commission. The tribunal in February this year handed its report to President William Ruto recommending Chitemwe's removal. He challenged the decision in court, but it is the end of the road for him. A five-judge bench of the Supreme Court has dismissed his appeal. In dismissing the petition, the Supreme Court says it was satisfied with the tribunal's conclusion that the evidence presented established that Chitembwe's conduct was in breach of the Judicial Service Code of Conduct and Ethics and also amounted to gross misconduct. Justices Mohamed Ibrahim, Smokey Nwanjala, Njoki Ndongo, Isaac Lenaola and William Ouko upheld the tribunal's recommendation for his removal, stating that the tribunal's finding and recommendation to the president for the petitioner's removal from office under Article 168.1 of the Constitution is hereby affirmed. Article 168 sub Article 9 of the Constitution on removal of a judge from office states that upon receipt of the recommendations by such a tribunal, the president shall act in accordance with the recommendations made on the later of either the expiry of the time allowed for an appeal if no such appeal is taken or the completion of all rights of appeal in any proceedings allowed for if such an appeal is taken and the final order in the matter affirms the tribunal's recommendations. Thus, the ruling by the Supreme Court more or less confirms the beginning of the end for Justice Said Juma Chitembwe's career on the bench. It's a unanimous decision. That is that true. Chitembwe, who joined the High Court in April 2, 2009, even harbored ambitions of becoming the country's Chief Justice and was interviewed for the position by the JSC in April 2021. Video and audio recordings exposed by former Nairobi Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko turned things upside down for him. For now, it's only a countdown to the hour or the minute that President Ruto's pen will strike, effectively disrobing Chitembwe, as required by Article 168 sub Article 9 of the Constitution, and as he had indicated 10 months ago, while receiving the report recommending the removal before Chitembwe filed the appeal at the Apex Court. I will uh, subsequently do my part as instructed by you. <laughs> this is a matter that I do not have any other recourse. We must always keep to that narrow path of the rule of law. Ibrahim Karanja, NTV.